7 weather with meteorologist Julie Durr. Good afternoon, South Florida. We are seeing a mix of sun and clouds and some very fast moving showers approaching portions of Miami Beach as well as Broward. You can see from our HD roof cam, we've got it pointed towards the south, downtown Miami, seeing some isolated showers in the distance, but they are moving very fast. Let's go to the radar so you can see what you have in store. On your lunch break, if you're headed out the door, some light to moderate rain over Coral Springs, Parkland, as well as Tamarack. Find the dry out over Boca Raton. Another isolated shower moving through Davie and towards Plantation on 595. Fort Lauderdale as well, dealing with some light to moderate rain. Isolated shower over Pembroke Pines as well as Miramar. And then most of the heavy rain actually settling in right over Miami Beach. We just saw that live from our HD roof cam. So moderate to light rain moving towards the west right over I-95. That will continue to push towards Miami Springs. And that ocean breeze even holding on to some showers down by the Keys. That moisture will continue to push towards the west. So we've got a mix of sun and clouds, a chance of a spotty shower or two throughout the day. And temperatures will stay where they should be this time of year in the lower 80s. And that's what we're seeing already this afternoon. 81 degrees, Pompano Beach, Fort Lauderdale, and Pembroke Pines. But boy, it is breezy out there. That east-southeast wind moving in anywhere between 16 and 17 miles per hour. 81 in Miami as well as Miccosukee. 79 in Homestead with that east-southeast wind anywhere between 10 and 17 miles per hour. For you in the Keys, good afternoon to you in Key West. A temperature of 83, 84 marathon with that east wind anywhere between 9 and 12 miles per hour. So as I widen the view, show you what's going on across the U.S. A lot of you might be doing some traveling as we go into Thanksgiving. So here's the setup. We've got a storm system moving into the Pacific Northwest today. And then we have an area of low pressure moving into the Rockies. We have an area that we're watching a cold front associated with the low from Texas stretching all the way into the Northeast states. Now, any severe weather that could develop today will be right over the Ohio Valley. For us, high pressure in place will keep all these systems to the north. So we'll have a very nice day with a possible quick moving shower. Highs will be in the lower 80s with that east breeze anywhere between 15 to 20 miles per hour. Looking ahead, though, that frontal boundary will eventually push more towards the south. We're calling that our Thanksgiving Day front. It will move in on Thanksgiving Day, bring us a chance of an isolated shower in the morning, and then no major changes with our temperatures. We'll stay mild with highs in the lower 80s. We will actually be the warmest spot of the U.S. on Thanksgiving Day. Otherwise, once that front clears, it will take all the showers and thunderstorms with it. So the middle portions of the U.S., the southeast, and the northeast will be seeing nothing but sunshine. It'll be a beautiful day. Now, as we go to the tropics, we are watching an area of low pressure, 875 miles northeast of the Leeward Islands, with a 60% chance of development. Upper level winds will steer the system away from the U.S., and it will not be a threat to land if it does develop. Back home here, a threat of rip currents at the beaches. Doing any boating, the bay will be at a moderate chop. No advisories for you in the Keys and near shore waters at a moderate chop. Highs today in the lower 80s, scattered showers possible. Lows will be in the upper 60s and then lower 70s for the coast. Here's your 7 on 7. We'll have a nice mild week ahead. It will stay breezy as we go into the weekend. Have a great day.